demonstration as to how to replace the liner on the LSU unit. You pull out the liner from the canister like so. You remove the white connector, which is disposed of in the clinical waste. You put the tab on top of the, can of the liner, and this is disposed of in the, clean, or in, the cl in the clinical waste as well. You get your new liner, which comes attached with this attached, the, the, the connector. You place it into the canister like so. And when you always reattach a liner, always ensure to turn on the machine to ensure that you have suction and that it is working. Turn it back off and it's installed. To test your suction, make sure that your um, suction unit is unplugged. Then turn on your suction unit to 80 millimeters of mercury and make sure that the amber light is not lit. That indicates a technical error. Turn back off your suction and to initiate the test, hold down the test button and flick your suction to 500 with the test button pressed. When the battery light flicks to the second light, you then block your suction port and the suction device automatically goes to maximum suction and it will cut off at this point, so keep your suction blocked. When it cuts off, make sure that up to 500 LEDs are lit. So this is a quick demonstration as to how to clean the suction unit. First of all, you need to disconnect it from the apparatus here. You pull down on this lever here and you slide the cassette forward <coughs> like so. The liner is changed as already previously demonstrated. The canister and the machine is cleaned with a mild detergent and an alcohol wipe. Then the cassette is reinserted with the liner. Once you hear the click, that's important. And then you always ensure that this is reconnected up here on top like so. And again, do a test to ensure that you have suction, that your apparatus is working 